to another episode of Victoria 2 Into the Darkness. And I'm starting this episode off, like my other ones, with our daily recap of what happened last episode. Um, basically nothing. All we did was just kind of roll down our infamy so that we could eventually go to war with Oman and claim, like, some of African coast right here. That way we have another way into the great and rich land of Africa. Alright? So, and also, we also were, like, saying, we're, like, getting as annoyed with the fact that, like, this happened. I'm, I'm so annoyed with that. And I actually got so annoyed that I finally did something about it. And, da-da-da-da, voila, my plans. Well, these don't look like plans, they just look like a big, gigantic outline. Well, yes, that's a big, gigantic outline for those of you who are observant enough. Um, but it's an outline that basically says what I'm going to do. Basically, I'm going to say this. United States, this should be their land. This is the U.S. of A's land. And through different means... Through war, persecution, or crisis mode, I'm going to make sure the United States gets all this. Um, it might take a little bit of, like, explaining on my part, but they will definitely claim all this. I, I make sure of it. They will get all this, because this annoys me. Like, literally, this has annoyed me from day one when I saw this. And it even further annoyed me when they claimed Idaho. I mean, the potato state should just... <laughs> it should be the United States, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to, definitely, definitely going to help him out with that. And so, this also leads into the kind of new idea, because this wasn't actually a part of my original plan. And it wasn't that I, like, added this to my original plan, because, as you can see, there's nothing over here in Colombia. I made a new, entirely updated plan. Voila! And I named it, let's see what I named it, The French Empire Version 2. Because everyone needs a version 2. So my second plan is, is I'll start with Europe. My whole entire plan for Europe. My plan for Europe is to first just build industrial power again. Make sure that we keep with the latest and greatest and most expensive stuff of today. Oh, I have to start this, by the way. Uh, do, 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 do. Latest and greatest stuff. Okay, five should be good. One, two, three, four, five. That should be good. All right, latest and greatest stuff. And we will be going to war with Germany, because I thought the best way to prevent Germany from ever forming is to actually declare war on the Germans. So, voila. With my, eventually I will use, oh, I can actually get the Valley of the Keys. And this actually, hmm, it's worth it to an extent, but no, I don't think I'll do the Valley of the Kings this time. Usually I like to do this event, but... With that one infamy, it's just going to kill us. And is there anything else we can act? No. But with this event, the left bank, which I've been talking about for a while, I'll use this at some point when I have a little bit less infamy. And I'll go to war with Prussia, get a Casa Spelli, take this region right here, and maybe unsphere Bulgaria or something. You know, unsphere one of these little vassals. So that they will never be able to form Germany. And I will be always able to control their expansion and to prevent them from ever becoming that big gigantic power that we all know what happens in our own timeline that yeah we don't we, the French don't want that kind of Germany no no we don't so I will be doing that the second part is is that over here in Austria I've decided I'm gonna break up Austria so I don't know how I'm gonna exactly like the details like I said it's hard for me I'm not a details kind of guy I get the general idea of what I'm going to do, and then once the need arises, I will do it. But with this one, I'm just going to be getting Italy, Venice, um, making Yugoslavia. I, I decided that we need to just break up the entire region over here. So Yugoslavia, make the Yugoslavians, um, make Romania, make Bulgaria, make Greece, and make Poland if we can manage that. Those are my like new crafty goals for this entire region. Um, basically, whenever there's a crisis aboard, of anywhere in here, I will I will be trying to support it as much as I can. Because I know that eventually weakens all the other powers and strengthens my own position as the leader of the Zeb French Empire. So let me move this over here. Let me move this right over here. Yeah, because those two troops are hiding and we don't... Anyone else hiding? Uh, 
No, this is just full on me. All right. What else I'm gonna do is, what's my plan for Sweden? Because you kind of may have noticed I have a yellow outline for them. Well, it's not really anything big. All I'm gonna do is just fear them. Because actually, they deserve it. I mean, they they honestly, wait, I should also, let me go priorities. Uh, Argentina is a little bit less of a priority. Because they honestly, they deserve it. They have like a decent sized military. And what I mean by decent is they actually have a military, which is apparently more than most nations have. Um, and they have a, just a semi-good modern, like, infrastructure, or like, not infrastructure, uh, industrial power. Which means we could heavily abuse that, okay? And which I plan to do in the future. Um, yeah, so that's basically my plans for, for, like, Europe. And why did I not mention my, like, little Spain invasion? Well, that's a diff that's like ties into my, my African thing. So my African region, I kind of I've sketched out the new like borders I hope to be having. And immediately you notice off the bat, I do not have like this entire region anymore in my like grasp. And that's only because, I don't know how, but the stupid Portuguese already started colonizing. So the Portuguese are going to claim the only region that I really wanted, which was right here in Zimbabwe. Which, the reason why I wanted this region is because it had iron and iron as you know is used to make steel and other and steel is made to is made to make everything else in the entire world so if you have steel you need iron and if you have iron you basically have the world's economy okay so we wanted to gain so i wanted to gain that but the portuguese already have a leg up on me and i doubt in a couple years i'll be able to like I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to get there in time to, you know, colonize, basically. That's basically what I'm saying. I don't think I'll be able to get there in time. So, instead, what I plan to do is, since I can't gain the iron from there, I have two potential plans for this. Alright? My first plan is either I'm going to take over Spain's iron deposits right over here, also, thus expanding my border with Spain, causing them to hate me, but, you know, looking pretty good right here. Because I doubt, with my army right now, which is not that great, I could probably take over all of Spain. I mean, they are honestly, they are honestly nowhere near our military might. And I mean, all of our military might is an army, and all the military power, let me just go to diplom diplomacy. Yeah, they have nine soldiers, basically. In the entire region, and I could probably deploy about maybe 20, 40 more, but those soldiers would not be as good as mine. So we would easily, and I mean easily, easily crush them. So there, that is one of the ways I might gain my iron deposit so that I can become like the sole producer of iron. The other way I was thinking of gaining my iron deposits, and quickly, just just in a quick turn, we're also gonna take over most of the Middle East and gain the oil deposits here so that we can you know, eventually become the leading producer of oil, which, you know, is a dream. Is a dream. Alright, but the main way I'm gonna do that is da 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 Here. I am going to be planning a massive invasion of Korea. And the reason why I want to go to war in Korea is not just because of its RGO outputs. Well the reason why it has iron in its country. And I mean not just one iron, but four iron. But the other reason why is because it also has a good supply of coal, and it has lumber, which, ironically, in our country, we don't actually have. Like, if you look at our- oh, we actually do have some lumber. Huh. Well, anyways, I just want to conquer them because of population gain, and because, you know what? Mess up- well, who cares about the Koreans? We're, di we're imperial this year. We care about our own means. So, but yeah, the main- the main reason why is because I'd want to go to war because they have a good population base, they have- coal and they have timber so yeah that would be my reason to go war with them now what i just noticed is that they are an alliance with uh what is it called the japanese now there's a couple ways i can rectify this i can either become china's greatest friend which you know wouldn't be so bad but it wouldn't be the best the other way i could like kind of like, China hates me right now. The other way I could do this is, like, maybe sphere these guys. The only problem is, is that 
I can never make an alliance with them. Like, yeah, I can never make an alliance. And I think the military is even worse. No, actually, they have a bigger military in Korea. But anyways, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard once we got over to Korea to do much. I mean, we already have, like, honestly, it would take that much army to defeat the rest of the Koreans. It's, it would honestly be just me pushing them over. And I'm going to expand this over here because this is... This is really where we want to have our gigantic forts. And over here, any, any expansions? Yeah, we need some expansions over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I have to expand when I realize when I have to expand. So, there we go. That's my kind of new imperialistic phase 2 invasion plan. Um, it's about as ambitious as last time. With, with you know, a little bit of tweaks here and there, but yeah. So, without further ado... Let's start it. Let's start the next part of the invasion by justifying a war against the Omens, or Omai, oh or whatever you want to call it. And one more thing, just one more thing, I have to mention this. Um, the reason why I really, I was looking through the footage is the reason why I can't actually, like, get, uh, what is it called, uh... No, not National Fraternity. No, not Colonial Views. Where is it? <laughs> Oh, give me a second. Uh, do, do. Oh, colonial negotiation. The reason why I don't have this yet is because I have to have invented machine guns, economic responsibility, and naval logistics. And with that, that would basically bring my uh, life bar into... Uh, it basically bring my life bar into the way I need it to be so I can start colonizing. Because right now, we have a life bar of 10, I mean 20, and we need at least 10. So... Right now we need a real, so, yeah. Right now, what do we need for colonial negotiations? We need to have invented economic responsibility, naval logistics. Um, naval logistics, we don't have, so I'll actually start researching that right now. Because I know what that is. Um, economic, economic, I don't quite know where it is. Um, like, I'm pretty sure I've never, oh, there it is, economic responsibility. So, yeah, we need to... We need to, like, text, like, tech down to these places, but I don't think it'd be that difficult. So, yeah. Yeah, we basically, we're on track to go to colonization. So, just want to tell you guys that. Just want to make sure everyone's cool with that. And for the French Empire, we will conquer the entire African coast. For the new French Empire. That's what I meant to say. So, without further ado, let's hope! The new patient! The prices collapse, new party, the Ottoman Empire expands, the wind of westernization, interventionism, warm relations, and that's basically everything in. So, let's begin with just relaxing as our economy grows, and Montenegro grows bankrupt. Well, good job, Montenegro, even though I don't really care about you at all. And, right over here, I forgot to do this last episode, which is, I have like a national, uh, the Oman Menace, yeah! I love the Oman Menace event. Okay, right here, I'm going to be, like, encouraging bureaucrats to see if maybe I can make this a state. I don't think I will, though. And a factory, one of our factories have collapsed, so I'm going to fix that up right now. Woo! And, yeah, the rest of our factories are doing pretty good right now. I mean, we still have, like, one of the best uh, industrial powers. We're not having the best industrial power. That's only because... Somehow the Germans beat, no, wait, not the, the Germans beat us. They have the second, um, the British have the fourth, and no duh. Um, Paris's World Fair, on May 15, 1855, the World Fair was opened in Paris. 20,839 exhibitors showcased their products, winning 11,073 uh, awards and drawing 4.5 million visitors. Anarchism doesn't sound nice. What? Okay, I don't get that event, but okay. And actually, we're, wow, we're actually beating America in industrial power. And America, what are you calling in us? The Mexican-American War! Yes! Okay, I'm going in on that. And actually, that's going to cause some things. So, war between Mexico and the United States. We know we're in it, and basically, we have a lot of fillers for the rest. Okay. And now our economy is going to collapse again. Um, have we ever full- yeah, we did fully pay off our debts, uh, don't be looking forward to that again, it seems like we're gonna go back into debt, that seems like, we- we were so close to getting out of debt, just so close, 
Okay, so everyone that is a new soldier meet right here. Uh, we have a new transports meeting in Montenegro, or what is that called? Acquire stains against Bolivia. Well, I really don't care. You guys, you guys can do whatever. I mean, intervene immediately. I mean, I really, I'm, I'm not really involved in that region. It's just, honestly, there. It's like, I, I know I should be work, looking more after, like, my barbarian, I mean, not barbarian, but political agenda in South America, but South America just really, it, it doesn't really do that. Any Omar menace are coming for us. Wow. We must really, we must really be wanting this war against Oman. Poor Oman. Oh. And luckily, I'm gonna jinx myself, and luckily, we have not had any infamy from this entire event, which is so awesome. So, the coal, a young girl died, so tragic, and yes! Okay, so, without any incident, we got, we got to basically take as much from Oman as we wanted, so, we're gonna do that immediately. Because this is gonna be a long concession thing, because I'm gonna try to take, like, two regions from Oman. So, we're just gonna fast forward here. Fast forward. Just fast forward. Okay, I'm just going to, like, get out of here for a second. How are we doing on ships? We're doing pretty good. Um, we're going to need approximately around six ships to do what we need to. And how are capitalists doing? Uh, they're building factories, I guess. I guess that's the best I can give them. And how's our war in Mexico going? Uh, United States seems to have everything fine and dandy. Um, yeah. I don't think I really need to be pulled into that. That's just, it's just more of my war of, I hate Mex. Okay, D quick disclaimer, I do not hate Mexicans in real life. I just hate them when they try, I just hate them in this game right now, okay? That's, that's, I'm just playing a role of the French imperialist and the, dis the distaste for everyone that isn't French. Like the British are the dirty British. Okay, now I'm gonna stop right there before I get any further. But, yeah. And apparently our economics have actually increased due to our debt, which is it's surprisingly scary. It's well, it's not surprisingly scary. I know it's scary and it's scaring me. Um capitalists, I'm going to have to tax you guys a little bit and I'm going to have to tax the lower class cuz we have to we have to at least curve the uh incense of money and new lit homes. So war between France and Oman, the Mexican PR might yeah, of course they should. The rise of two Sicilies. Wait, what? Following, 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 what? Wait, so you mean two Sicilies is now a great power? What? Ottoman Empire, you just stink. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about the matter. I mean, the fact that you. Oh, no, 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 no. Portugal, you better stop now, because you're not getting this land. I will go to war with you and kick your bloody butt if you try to take that land from me. See, look at this. These Portuguese really think I'm going to let them do this. They, they really think I'm going to let this slide. No. Okay, let me also... While we're here, let me justify... Oh, I can't just... Dang it, they don't have justify war anymore. Like, you can't just justify war for random reasons. Okay, let me see, is my troops- Oh no! What? They engaged the Mexican army? No, no, escape! Escape army! Okay, Mexico, now kill the troops! Kill the troops! <gasps> yeah! And what did they have? Oh, Mexico just basically had transports like us. That's awesome. Okay, so six men and my men landed right there, so I'm gonna quickly load them back up. Because we're gonna- Whew, this is actually a mistake I made in one of my other campaigns. Um, I had a big fight, and my men apparently escaped to the outskirts, and I never saw them again. So, so when I actually got to the place I needed to, they weren't there, and I just like spent an entire year traveling, and I didn't really need to. So, <sighs> yeah, I got resolved this time, though. I'm really glad. And we have army, army, army. Yeah, and our 33 troops over here are just, like, guarding our Panama Canal. And Mexicans are feeling pretty happy right now. They're, they're, they're taking little uh, Ladicio while we're destroying them in every other part in, the, in their place. So, yeah. All in all, this is a good war. This is, this is just a good war. 
And then this is even a sweeter war because we don't really have to do anything. And apparently I just engaged like an army of Oman troops and we just instantly destroyed them. I mean, it wasn't even a competition. That's sad. That's just sad. Okay. And for an investment. Eh, not really much. I don't really want to invest in my vassals yet. I don't. Well, particularly, I don't really particularly have the money to invest in my vassals. That's a better way of putting it. And the Oman have no troops right here, as we just skied out. But, ah! Portugal! Seriously, how do they even get the technology to even have long live France? Okay. How do you even get the technology to even get here? They shouldn't. Like, literally, they should not have the technology to... <sighs> Calm down. Okay, let's just let's just start our Oman war. We'll calm down after this. I mean, this should be just a cake drive. The Oman have they actually do have a military, but it's so pathetic that it's not going to be worth our our French military will be able to take over this. And naval statistics almost done, almost there. And wow, the Ottomans are losing a war against Egypt. Who may I add is divided, but then again they all fight in the Persians. I I don't know. This is this is all messed up right now. So war between Ethiopia and Egypt, Netherlands fears on might, they should. Uh intervention, intervention, supply range. Alright. Uh business regulations. Can I go down no, I can't go down naval logistics anymore. So I'm gonna go down business regulations because we need economic responsibility. Mm. Okay. I you know, I'm going to see this later today. I'm going to look into the Portuguese, like, colonial effect, because they honestly should not be able to colonize a place that was tanked. That's just... I, that's just not logical. And they took, like, another part of the regions I wanted. And Flamboyant and Court, basically a novel... Uh, that, that just angers me right there. And we got some more regions right over here. Okay. Didn't take that much. Okay, go right here. I, I honestly think just landing in the capital would probably end this war, but eh, I might as well have a little bit of fun. Like, where's our war? There it is. Like, we already have enough right now. It's just, uh, they're just stalling for time. They're just, like, they're just stalling for time. They know they can't win, but they're, they're trying. And how's our Mexican war? Uh, still just kicking the butts. I mean, we have Guatemala. <laughs> Wait, we where did we get uh, Venezuela on our team? I don't know. And I'm guessing you guys succeed? Yep. Proceed. Thank you. And with that, everyone, with that uh, great colonial conquest, everyone, good job, everyone, good job. We'll be seeing you guys next time.